Hello and welcome back to Ment FX. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at a three step strategy entry criteria to get yourself involved in absolutely any market using smart money and what you've learned from the free YouTube, as well as if you're in the private mentorship and how you can use some of the stuff there to get involved. So the three steps are outlined right here. One is structure. Two is your point of interest, which is a supply or a demand zone. And three is your confirmation, which usually is by way of either a lower time from confirmation or Wyckoff. This is the trade we were able to catch. If we zoom out to a one hour, even a 15 minute, you'll notice just as we zoom out that the trade actually did run like we wanted it to run. However, we were stopped out of break even after hitting one to 55. The point that I want to draw from this entry itself is that we were able to hit one to 55 within this small area here. So if we just draw this out, this blue area, actually even higher, this blue area right here was a one to 55 RR trade um, overall. This was all sent out. We will look through that very quickly in the Discord. As you can see, we were looking for buys um, and we're going to look at a loss as well. So you guys can understand that, you know, not every trade is going to be a perfect entry. This was actually a 55 RR after a minus one. So we had this expecting buys. Um, we did have Wyckoff occur and we were expecting buys from right here. You can see this is the first buy we sent out. Um, that buy went to shit pretty much instantly. Didn't even get a chance to partial and got a minus one on that. As we keep following this down, we were able to then get an entry off of this major Wyckoff setup. Along with that, we were able to get into a lower entry as it came to tap into some lower parts of the schematic, which again, we're gonna look at in a second. Um, after that, we had price begin to take off. And as you can see, we partialed and managed our positions early, expecting that this could potentially hold as a bearish push. However, on the other hand, we ended up getting a break higher and look to break even at this level or so. Before that level was reached, you see we have Wyckoff occur fractally within the Wyckoff beforehand, right? So again, this is the idea of fractals occurring um, almost anywhere you look. Here comes the Wyckoff, form of an accumulation. At that specific point, we were looking at the buy here with the stop loss just below um, this previous low right here with the, still, with the break even still at this point. Um, as you can see, price comes back down to tap us in. After that point, price does come really low, but never breaks the low as we were expecting, holding that last point of support by way of Wyckoff. And from there on out, began to take off, looking for a partial um, at one to 10 on this on this third entry right here. Um, one to 10 was met within, I believe, 30 seconds. So this was <laughs> this was met very quickly in the group. Um, fantastic. Looking for a total of 900 RR, sadly. Um, it didn't, I mean, it ran, but it came back to BE first. So um, that happens though. Had our next partials taken at these highs. Um, if you'll notice, we had these next partials outlined right here. Those partials were met right here at 1 to 55 RR on all three trades. And then price broke down and hit break even here before then, as you can see, coming significantly higher. So if we just get down to the lower time frames, you'll see that all play out right here. Um, this was that run up, then that play back down and it came to hit break even right here before then taking off. Now, how is this done and how do we follow this three step entry criteria? Well, let's run ourselves through it as we go up to specific time frames, we see that we've been bearish for a long time. However, we were coming into, if you notice, we'll go to the four hour here just so we could refine this. Um, so we were coming into this gray denoted area. And as you'll see here, actually, I think this was a daily or a weekly. I'll have to, we'll have to check that out very quick. Um, it's not a weekly. So we had this area refined right here, which was just this last um, demand zone before this big move up. And this whole thing here was just a, what we believe to be um, a slow retracement back to here to then put in new um, legs higher. Now, again, this price could break down, but either way, despite the fact that, you know, price could either come up all the way to these highs and these highs, um, or if price could break down, we were still able to catch a one to 55 inside of that area. Okay. So for your own study, go and find where this POI was, right? Structure, we are bullish, having a big retracement into a next potential bullish leg. And from there, we had a refined area denoted by this gray, so we can use the really low, denoted by this gray demand zone right here. Now, as price taps into that gray demand zone, we were on a significantly lower time frame, even lower than that. I believe it was on the 15 minute. Um, at the time of, we were able to actually catch some buys within this area here. We were able to take some profits on that, but that's not important right now. We tried to look for a sell here at a, approximately a one to 50, um, but the reality we were targeting somewhere inside here at about one to 30, just this liquidity low. This never got hit, never tapped us in. But again, the idea of understanding how to trade fractals allows you to mix and match and wait for the best setup. So this entry never happened, which is fine. We don't have to 
um, worry about that one too much. And then we got to this low point inside of this overall demand zone. So that, remember this gray area is showing you that demand zone. So we already have one, which is structure, and we're waiting for structure to shift bullish, right? So upon waiting for this, we see that price is coming down lower, coming down lower, coming down lower, and finally shifts bullish. So we have a potential bullish shift and we have another shift bullish. Okay, great. At that specific point, after those two shifts, we have officially a demand zone left behind in the form of this last down move before the up move. That's a demand zone that's been left behind. And at the time of, there was an imbalance in here, price comes to tap in and that's where we're looking for our first um, buys. We did not find a buy in this specific location. However, after that price did break even higher, thereby putting in what? A new structural leg higher and leaving behind a new demand zone. As you can see, we had this relatively larger demand zone because that was actually taking into account a 15 minute um, demand zone right here. So if you notice, here's your last down move, taking the wick into account because that did come lower before the up move. That's your demand zone that's been unmitigated, untapped, expecting price to come into there before giving us higher prices. Now, at this specific point, this is a perfectly valid trade as it is with your stop loss just below the low and take profits all the way, as you know, to those higher areas. Now, notice how this take profit with this entire crazy run is only 1 to 17. And despite that, despite the fact that we traded literally maybe 1 20th of that, we were able to hit a 1 to 55 inside of that, right? So this is, again, the, the point we try to make with how fractals can be very, very um, powerful. So we have that 15 minute area denoted by this gray demand zone right here, this last down move before the up move right here. And inside of there is where we began to look for our confirmation, right? So step one was structure. Structure is shifted bullish. Step two is your point of interest, which is shown by this demand zone right here. So you're expecting buys from there. And step three is confirmation, AKA Wyckoff. So at this specific point, I believe we took this off of a five second entry. So, um, yeah, we did. So what we'll do really quick is we'll just replay price back to here. Um, let's actually make this all seen so you guys can see exactly where we got involved and how we did it. Um, I believe it was on the, let's reopen the Discord very quick so we know exactly um, how this entry and setup happened. So the very first entry, as you can see, was on the five second. Yeah, so we were operating on the five second here. Um, we'll go over to that. And now everything becomes relatively clear. We're inside this relatively large demand zone now because we're on a five second, right? It looks the exact same as it did on the higher time frames. Tapping into that. So remember, we always have to keep in mind what the higher time frame is telling us because it controls the lower. The higher time frame has just made highs, left behind a demand zone, and now we're inside of that demand zone, which is this price action right here, expecting some kind of confirmation to go bullish, right? Because we're waiting for the better RR. Now at that specific point, we have our selling climax followed up to the AR, followed down to the ST, the SOS and B, the STB liquidating the lows, the spring liquidating those lows, structure being put in that is bearish, as you can see. And then the shift of that occurs. As the shift of that occurs, because we um, understand that price does not have to come to lower prices, we got involved into a buy right here with about 0.1 or 0.2% risk. Then the rest of the risk was put on right here as price got into the lower areas of this overall demand zone. Um, and again, if you use the very, very last low, you'll see that you might have actually not been able to get in. Yep. So if you use this actual last low, you see that it never got tapped. But again, we use the general area because we were also operating on multiple time frames. So in this case, we actually use this last down move right here to get involved into buys here. And you can see how perfectly the 50% of that got hit if you wanted to refine that even further. Now, at that specific point, we only had 1% risk overall on these points right here, or one RR risk, whatever your risk uh, tolerance actually is. And as we began the break higher, um, we began to spot that we were undergoing a new accumulation. And as you can see within here, we have the selling climax followed by the AR, followed by the ST creating equal lows. Same thing that we've seen on this channel over and over again, followed by the ST and B, waiting for a spring to happen and waiting for the breaks higher. At that specific point, we had price come down, create that spring as anticipated. So now we're looking for potentially a new re-entry, right? We had price then come and create that test. So again, you already are valid to go for potential entries off of these demand zones. However, I wanted more um, confluence and um, what's it called? And confirmation because at this point we're already in two trades or more like one trade but to get into a second one means that you know we want to make sure we understand what price is actually delivering it um to us so we create this lps and begin to break higher at that specific point um these demand zones here are actually valid for buys because as you know as price breaks higher and structure is put into place those demand zones function as great areas to potentially buy at so price does come a little bit higher comes back in test all of that area. As you can see, structure um, is just below this low. So as long as we never get below this low, um, we are still valid for buys here. 
as you can see, price does come back down, never taps the stop loss very close, but never taps it because we understand how price is delivered. This was just a 100% mitigation of this actual zone, but no problem with that because it just created another last point of support as it should as per Wyckoff. And from there, we had our first partials looking at these areas here. And as you'll see, um, from there on out, remember this is a five second chart, price relatively quickly ran to that. So within about, let's see, in about eight minutes, 10 minutes of entry, we were secured at about one to 15. Um, if we wanna take a look at this, this trade was running at about, um, at about one to 10. And then the trades before that were running at, this one was running at about one to six. So that makes it about one to 16. And this one was running at about, um, one to 1.9 right so we're kind of just going off this better entry but i mean all three of these are fully valid at this point we were break even on absolutely all of them um and there were actually partials taken even beforehand right because as you guys know i like to manage relatively aggressively even when prices run very very far now our overall tp was not just set here our overall tp was actually set significantly higher at about one to 900 um uh, which was actually met well i mean it was set at one to 300 which was actually met but price did come to break even so this was the next partial we were looking at and as you can see we have that denoted right um let's see if we can find that right uh no that's the one the 10 one the 15 whatever it was the next partial which was right here at this high as you can see that's this high right here looking for that to be met and as you can see that is a one to 32 a one to 16 and a one to five which overall um is 32 plus 16 and five, I believe, right? So about 53 RR, so 50 RR, we can change this up. Um, one to 50 RR in about from the first entry to the completion, we can wait for that to complete. As you can see, price relatively quickly took off um, and met our areas higher. So this is still a five second chart, but you can see how quickly price moved to those areas, um, made its way up there. Uh, we had the one hour layover, that's this little um, jump you see right there in price continue kind of just jumping up and hit that one to 50 perfectly. Now, from the beginning till that exact point, that took about two hours. So in about two hours, we were able to secure about a one to 50 position on gold in one day, right? So this is where the the power of ulti uh, ultimately of fractals comes into hand and understanding how these three-step entry criteria can get you in the trades is basically one of the strongest things you can do. And you can apply those to any time frame all the way down to, as you can see here, the five second. And there's no, there's no question about which actual specific currency pair you want to trade. I just like gold um, in this case because um, I am charged per, for a commission on lots. So because gold moves more pip wise, um, the lots are significantly cheaper to enter on. So that is how we completed the one to 50 using double whack off confirmation within demand zones within structure. So always remember your three things are find structure, find your points of interest, in the form of demand or supply zone. So in this case, because we're looking for buys, it's demand zone, wait for price to get there, look inside of it, and inside of it, wait for your confirmation in the form of usually Wyckoff and enter on the Wyckoff as we did here, and you have runs like these. And this will apply to every single time frame. So that's your best strategy that you can use. That's the three-step process to using it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.